today I'm gonna be showing you my Barbie house. I am an adult and I am an adult doll collector. I've been uh, like collecting small pieces for a while now. I have a bunch of miniatures in this house. The house itself is homemade. Like my husband literally went to, to one of those um, uh, construction stores, uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, one of those and bought the wood and bought the paint and the nails and everything and he literally made this so it's kind of like a bookshelf kind of thing but then we added like the divisions i don't know if you could see it but uh it has like divisions like this so to divide like all the different rooms but yeah a lot of the things in this house i made like for example the bed for example the sink and the windows and things like that it doesn't have any stairs but that's okay because i love it i just you know i use my imagination i move the different characters uh, my different dolls you know from room to room in that way but i hope you all enjoyed this video and if you have any questions leave them in the comments i'll be happy to answer so let's get started so this is the overview of the whole house it is a three-story house that i have and uh, it does have uh, three bedrooms, the laundry room, the restroom, the kitchen, and the living area. And well, this is the garage area. It's just a good shelf, but uh, I use it as the garage. I do have a couple of more cars and I have the camper, but um, they weren't on site at the moment. So I just recorded this one. But yeah, I just have a couple of plants in the corner and uh, yeah, so it works as a garage and uh, in that other corner I usually put the other cars, but it's a little convertible. Obviously not the whole family puts there, but I mean, it's cute. Okay, so this house does have lights and these lights are actually battery operated and to <laughs> glue that one back on, but uh, I got these at Walmart and they do light up. So I really love how they look like they're nice they they work and you know but i also added this uh string lights and then it has like a little connection and lighting it up it gives so much more light so either or work um but i can actually turn off the top lights right there i turned them off and it's still super lighted just with those little ones so both of the options are really good i i, I like both so this is the kitchen area. It's pretty small, but it works. I really like it. Uh, in this little box, I just have like uh, letters, and these are just basically letters, like mail. And I usually keep it up here, but since I had other stuff, I just put it at the bottom. But yeah, and then I have you know the microwave, some popcorn, uh, radio, and I just have like some dishes over here in this shelf, and then the stove, which is pretty small, but uh, it fits. And then up here in this cupboard, I just have like a bunch of like different uh, foods and um, the coffee area. I have a coffee pot, the blender, you know, some cups and some pastries. And over here I have, of course, like I said, the toaster. And then I just have like some containers and food items, cereal, soda. So just a bunch of different uh, groceries. And then this is the uh, refrigerator. And so yeah, this is the refrigerator and it actually opens, I just dropped something, but yeah, it opens on both sides. Like it has, it has like the double doors and there's of course some food items in there. Drawings in the front as if the kids drew them. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I have the emergency kit or the first aid kit here with actual, you know, medicine and band-aids and such. And then on this other door, I just keep like more food items like, you know, pasta and bread and cereal and other stuff. So yeah. Uh, oh, and then this, uh, this is like the sink area, this bar area. I actually made it and just have a couple of like little food items up there. But yeah, I actually made it this uh, section out of cardboard. And if you open here, like you can use it as storage. So I do have some more dishes in there. And then this is the table and it, it only has two chairs. Uh, this was actually a pink color, but I colored like I uh, painted it silver and I like how it looks in the back and in the front. I usually add like extra seating if I need it. So sometimes I'll add that and then in the back I have like the baby high chair. So 
yes, this was the kitchen area and now going to the living area. This is how I do have like several instruments. I kind of decorated as if like they love music. I have this sofa. I love this sofa. This is actually a jewelry box. It opens from the bottom, but I love it as a Barbie chair. And then I have this other chair where I have Skipper sitting on right now. But uh, so yeah, I have that chair and then I have, you know, like some decorations, some frames. I have a trumpet hanging on the wall. And then, um, of course, I have like uh, several pictures on the wall, the TV mounted on the wall, and just, you know, a variety of pictures and a variety of little uh, figurines. And I do have a piano that actually plays. And of course, this is the little table, the coffee table that I have in the living area. And I just love putting little items there. And I actually made it match with this one just by adding some decorative paper and some uh, lining on the side. I feel that kind of connects both rooms together. And then over here, I have, like I said, some more little, you know, figurines and flowers. And then I have like a grandfather clock there in the corner. And I have this stereo, which this stereo I love. It's actually from the 80s and it's actually a radio radio. Um, and then I have some movies on there and frames and stuff. But yeah, this radio is actually better operated and it actually plays music. It has like the AM, FM, and then it has like the tuning right there. And on the other side, you turn it on and off. And of course, I can't leave the music on very long, but... I kind of wanted to show you, you know, that it actually plays and I love the design on the sides. It's very retro. It's actually original from the 80s and I love that it still works. So yeah, I love it. And on this side, I have a violin. It's like a violin case and once we open it, it actually does play. So this is one of my favorite miniatures in the whole entire house. It's very super detailed and I just love it. So yeah, this is the kitchen and the living area. And well, let's go to the second floor. And as you can see in the second floor, I do have the restroom and I have the master bedroom. Uh, so this is Barbie's room and she does have like a bunch of baby items. But yeah, let's go see all the little details. So I have the window area and as you can see she has money and you know there's a bunch of different things like on the window shelf and then I have this shelf it has like uh, some radios and you know some jewelry box, some magazines, passports, phones, some figurines it just has a bunch of different uh, items that you would keep in a shelf and of course there's my Barbie that I use and she's uh, on her bed which this bed I actually made out of cardboard with some boxes so I do love this bed like it's just homemade but I just think it's like the perfect size I made it kind of like a queen size and then I have like a little baby chair and this over here is her vanity and at the bottom I do keep a little rocking horse just for space I just kind of keep it in there sort in there but uh yeah this is her vanity and in the vanity she does have a bunch of makeup like she's like a obsessed with makeup <laughs> so yeah she has like a bunch of like she has like a big collection and there's just a bunch of miniatures that I've collected through. and then going to this shelf uh, I use it kind of like a closet area so you can see there's purses, there's jewelry, you know, there's clutches, there's baby toys, there's clothing for Barbie and Ken, there's of course the TV, um, and just a bunch of purses at the top here. You see that there's like a container with more makeup, <laughs> because like I said, she loves makeup, so there's a lot of makeup. And um, of course there's, you know, the and there's some more clothing there's some movies uh, the shoes Barbie and Ken shoes some hats and of course over here is the baby section so here she keeps like all the diapers classifiers uh, bottles wipes and all that good stuff for babies <laughs> And of course, this is the crib, so that's why I keep like the baby items close to there. And then going up here, I just have like a cork 
board with different, you know, information and calendars and such. And then over here, I just have like a couple of purses and some medals. And this is the Barbie baby that I use. And she is in this swing. I really love this swing. I actually love that, you know, you can actually swing it. So yeah, I just have the baby right there. Um, and then there's, you know, some toys for the baby in this little cubby kind of thing. And um, this thing, it uh, this crib, it actually has lights and music. So yeah, I love this bed. And then he, she has like a little plushy horse, super cute. So yeah, it's perfect for her, like perfect size. And then I have this, like a little uh, baby activity gym. And yeah, I believe this is from Fisher Price, I believe, but uh, I like it. It fits, fits Barbie uh, items or Barbie babies. And then I have the rocking chair whenever uh, Barbie decides to, you know, put the baby to sleep and such. So yeah, this is the full room and it's like, I love it. <laughs> I, I really love how I was able to combine the baby section in there. And then, of course, this is the restroom. And um, I do have a bathtub in here. And I love all the accessories. Like, it has, like, this little rack, you know, with, like, the soap and the sponge. And then there's some, you know, some shampoo for the baby and shampoos, like, for the adults. And just some other accessories over here. Some, you know, little perfumes and such. And then in this section, I keep like the towels and then at the bottom I have this little basket like for the dirty towels. And over here, this is how it looks. Like if we look at it through this side, and of course there's some sandals right there. Apparently can left them there. <laughs> and then in this little box or this little uh, table kind of thing, I keep the, the thing, you know, for weighing herself. And then also this little like spa thing for the feet. So I, I just keep that in there and then on this other side there's a window and then there is also like the long mirror and there's like this ink area which I made as well and I just like made it out of like foam and I added um, some accessories you know there's toothbrushes there's plants there's a hair dryer more makeup and then inside the store I keep the little um, baby thing for the baby and there's like a little duck as well so you won't cry when they're bathing her but yeah there's just a bunch of accessories so i love this restroom and then well this is a toilet and uh it has of course the the lid or the top that opens and then the toilet paper and then it has like some spray you know some fragrance spray and then I have this, which is like the baby uh, training thingy, <laughs> like a little potty for babies. And then I also have some magazines. So yeah, this is how the restroom looks. I love the wallpaper that I added on this one, which is actually decorative paper, but I, I mean, it's wallpaper for the Barbie house. Uh, but yeah, this is the main room, like I said, the master bedroom, and this is the restroom and they both have lights. Okay, so this is the third floor and as you can see we have like the two bedrooms and we also have like the laundry area so let's get started with this room and in this room i saw like the others uh, also has lights and this is a room where skipper and stacy sleep in uh stacy stays at the top of the bunk bed and the skipper sleeps at the bottom and you're gonna see that there's like a bunch of details in this one too i I have like a bunch of like little posters on the wall for them and you know they have like different uh, toys and you know plushies and just a bunch of different posters for them uh, I have like music posters on the walls but then again I also have like book posters and you know their backpacks because they're teens so they do have like a variety of like likings <laughs> So you're going to see the difference between this room compared to the other one. So you're going to see different bags and uh, different posters and such, like I said. And then at the bottom, you'll see that there's another violin. So yeah, I'm guessing it's Skipper that plays the violin because this is actually her uh, side of the bed or the bottom piece of her bed. This family has a pet cat. So we see the cat here and then there's food. There's his uh, plate for water, for food. So yeah, this is a little cat. <laughs> I don't think she has a name. 
but um yeah and then there's of course the fan because Daisy tends to be very hot all the time so she has to have a fan and then you're gonna see a bunch of like said uh, books and toys and just a variety of items in this shelf And in this, in this little box, there's like a bunch of accessories, there's just, you know, some jewelry and sunglasses and such. And of course, there's Skipper's bag and just some shoes and little toys. And then, of course, they have their, you know, all the bowls and, you know, sports stuff. Okay, and then going to this other wall, this is how it looks. And this is their vanity and this is actually where they keep their clothing. It's, it has like this big drawer where it fits quite a good amount of clothing. So I really like this drawer. And uh, so yeah, this is how this side looks. And then of course on the vanity they have, you know, some accessories. So yeah, this is the teen girls room and I really like it a lot. I really like all the little details in it. And this right here is the little girls room. So this is uh, the room where Annie and, or Kelly, which I named her Annie and uh, Chelsea sleep in. And this bed actually opens. So Chelsea sleeps on the top. Kelly sleeps in the bottom or Annie I called her Annie like I said before but yeah they have like a bunch of toys they have like section of Lala Loopsies and they have you know Barbie stuff they have uh, princess stuff and they have of course their TV and in like this drawer in the back this is where they keep their clothing so there's one for each and uh, you know, there's an alarm clock there's you know some hooks on the wall so they can you know hang their clothing and stuff Okay, so this is Annie, Annie, like I call her. Uh, she loves her dollhouses, so I do have her two dollhouses. I have her this small wooden one, and I also have her this other one, and this is more like a mansion type. <laughs> and uh, it has a bunch of little miniature toys that I have found, you know, within the years. And um, I use these little miniature kind of things as dolls for her, so they fit perfectly for her house. And then, of course, she has her little plate stove, which she has little dishes as well, but um, I put them in another section. I forgot to show them. And then, you know, she has like little toys and she always has her little friend over. So that's why you see little cars as well. And that's him. <laughs> that's Junior and his little toys. Okay, so on this side of the room, I have this desk and that is uh, his desk, but she has her laptop over there, but then she has her desk. She loves studying. This is her lunchbox and it's actually Cabbage Patch theme. She loves Cabbage Patch. But she has a bunch of, you know, school supplies. Like she has a fish, a pet fish. She has her little fish bowl because she loves fish. And she actually has a flounder collection of like different flounders. So that's really cute. And then she has an Dalmatian toy. And then she also has like uh, Mrs. Pot and uh, Chip collection and a bunch of Cabbage Patch dolls. That so yeah, this is their room. This is the little girl's room and I love it. <laughs> and coming over here, we have the laundry room and this just serves kind of like a uh, like a attic area, like a storage area as well and a sewing area and ironing. <laughs> so you're going to see that there's a bunch of things stored in here. So this is the room where they keep all their extra stuff. Like they have like extra blankets and you know, like little random hats and you know, the stuff for the pets, dog food, some extra blankets and the fishing stuff. There's some random Christmas stuff. There's also like a box of tools that actually has like little tools, like little hammer. And you're also gonna see that there's like little pliers and scissors and stuff, little screwdrivers, like super cute little items that uh well of course can needs <laughs> so we keep them in there 
and um but yeah there's there's like a bunch of you know like extras you know like every house has that area to put like stuff that we need but not all the time well this is their area and of course there's the sewing area as well there's a little table with the sewing machine and you know like little knitting stuff as well so going towards the back you see that there's the washer and dryer and of course there is some you know laundry detergents and some other cleaning supplies the iron and just a bunch of things you know and then there's like the tricycle because you know that's stuff that doesn't fit in the little girls room so they keep it in there since it's bigger so they have a little tricycle and um, they also have like their little wagon so like the bigger toys they keep in this room you're gonna see some other little uh toys that are hung on the wall right now but yeah this is super good i love this little wagon by the way but yeah there's some other toys like i said there's like the little dog push ball thing i don't know what it's called you know some fisher price items and then you know there's like a jump rope and uh there's a shirt i'm guessing it all you know it got ironed so now it's hanging on this little hook area so i'm guessing that's where they hang the clothes that gets uh, uh ironed but yeah so this area like i said is like a laundry room slash sewing area slash storage room but it it works for me so good but yeah, this is the, like I said, the third floor, the girls' room, the little girls' room, and the laundry area. And as I mentioned before, they all have lights. But yeah, this is my complete tour of my house. This is my Barbie house. Like I said, some of the items I have purchased, others as I have thrifted, and others I made myself. But I really, really love my house. Uh, I'm an adult, I'm a collector, and this really, like, it helps me so much with my stress. You have no idea. I love it. I love all the little details. I love working on it. I love playing with it. I love just looking at it. But if you all like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. You can leave me any comments that you wish to leave me and I will be reading you. Thank you all for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye guys.